whether for an animation, a game sprite, or a scrolling background, it's often useful to be able to slide a sprite completely off the screen. If you've tried to do this, you will have noticed that the sprite stops moving before entirely leaving the screen. Depending on the size of the sprite, it will stop moving with up to 15 pixels remaining on the side of the screen. Many projects display a border to prevent this from being seen, but there is a simple way to trick Scratch into allowing the sprite to slide completely off the screen. Consider this simple script that places a sprite at an x coordinate of 200 and then repeatedly moves it one pixel to the right. You might expect this script to keep moving Scratch Cat to the right until it can no longer be seen. Let's run the script and see what happens. Notice that the sprite has stopped moving with the x coordinate at 273, leaving a width of 15 pixels remaining on the screen. Let's modify the script slightly so that Scratch Cat is displayed at twice its normal size and execute the script again. Notice that the sprite now moves to an x coordinate of 321. This is much farther than it moved before, but because the sprite is twice as big as it was before, it still leaves 15 pixels remaining on the screen. Now comes the part where we'll trick Scratch into doing what we want. Let's modify the code again so that it changes the scale to 200% before moving the sprite, and then back to 100% immediately afterwards. Scratch allows us to move the cat so as to keep 15 pixels of the scaled sprite on screen. The check is done during the movement block so we can scale the sprite back to 100% immediately after the move. Notice that the sprite is now moving smoothly off the screen. This is a very useful trick to know. Change the sprite to a larger scale, move it, and then change it back to the normal scale and you can make any sprite scroll completely off the screen.